you see, a few years back on a routine dig for dinosaur fossils, a landslide broke out and nearly broke my leg in two. They had to operate quickly, so they used the dinosaur bone I found to save my leg. Ever since, I've had what they call Dino DNA. All right, for helping that intro us, that does not do the side justice. Unironically, even though Tachikaze has been perceived as a meme in the past, this deck is unironically very, very good because of the simple fact that it can maintain advantage easily, get multi-attack, and draw a bunch of cards, and like a whole bunch of other stuff that make its skills super versatile. What's up, guys? Winning Image here. I'll spring you guys a deck profile to my Tachikaze deck from the post-clan selection. So this deck is obviously one of my favorites. As you guys know, I really enjoyed the Tachikaze style of Ancient Dragons and Gaia and have a Gaia premium deck, but that's a story for another day. What's really cool about this deck is that it has multiple ways to win the game. Starting off with Red Tyrannozord. So I don't know if you guys have one for Dino Fury, Dino Charge, Dino Thunder, and Mighty Morphin. So he has this really cool skill that during your turn, if three or more equip gauges were put, all your front row rear guards get 5k. And that's a continuous skill, so even if you call over it, which we'll see has a lot of ways to call over. And then it's other skill. Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, you draw two cards, call two cards from hand to rear guard, and then you put the top card of your deck as an equip gauge. So this is where you have to be careful. Um, you'll see in our trigger lineup we don't run draws because you use this skill quite a bit, and with how many equip gauges that you're going to be putting on your units, you're going to filter through your deck pretty easily. So. It's just another way of accelerating your deck state, helping you close out games. However, what I really like about this card is that you don't, your opponent doesn't need to be at grade 3 for it to really go off. You can do it as soon as you ride it. And then for our backup, you know, Dino, DNA, Gaia. Gaia is just mainly here for a finisher. During your turn, all of your regrets with a clip gauge get 5k, and then if your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, they get 10,000. Not bad at all. I haven't even used the second skill, which is when it attacks, and if you... And if, um, you counter bust one, retire a rear guard, it gets the original power, and if it's at grade three, your opponent's at grade three, sorry, it gets the original critical as well. So that's what I said, like why uh, the red dinosaur is so good because you could get it off as soon as you ride it, as opposed to Gaia, which you really have to wait a turn for it to go off. And then we have four of Mega Rex and four of Spinal X Sword. These eight cards are really important to your strategy. These are starter cards for you because they get a lot of your combos going. Both of them have the skill that in some way, shape, or form, you retire a regard when they attack. So Mega Rex, of course, when it attacks a Vanguard, you can retire a regard, draw a card, and then if it's on regard, you counter bust one, it also gets 5k for each of this unit's equip gauge. So you, but you usually don't put a quick gauge on this unit since you're really selective with equip gauges now. And then Spinal X Sword is one of the new cards, which is Counter Blast 1 when it attacks a Vanguard, retire another rear guard, call up to one card from that unit, retires a quick gauge to rear guard. So getting you a break even essentially for a cost of Counter Blast 1. And then you put the top card of your deck as an equip gauge for that unit. So you can use it again. Like that's just pretty insane if you ask me. And these are all the effects that you want to be have. You want to have at least one of these cards on the field always. So that's why we play eight. Then we have three Dilf, Dilf Pyro. I don't even know what his name is. Dilf Pyro. Counter kind of Blast one when placed from hand, draw a card, call a card from hand to rear guard. And then you put the top card of your deck as an equip gauge. So it's really good helping you maintain advantage early, get deeper into your deck so you can see your combo pieces and attackers. And then the other skill is um, when it's called from an equip gauge, it gets plus 10k. So if you happen to selectively equip gauge this or randomly equip gauge this, and this is called to rear guard, you're going to be able to hit some good numbers to defeat your opponent. This is 19k, and on Excel 2, it's 24k, and on Excel 1, 29. And then we have two sweeper. I know a lot of people don't like this card on this deck, but I'm still playing it just because of the simple fact that it could hit numbers. When it attacks the man, you put the top card of your deck as an equip gauge for it, it says here. And then during your turn, it gets, or no, not during your turn, sorry. It always gets 5k for each of your equip gauges on this card. And if it has three or more equip gauges, it can't be chosen for a bonus card effect, yada, yada, yada. Sweeper is always good. I think it's very good in this deck, especially just because of how many ways you have to equip gauge and draw cards and whatnot. And you're able to get the three, honestly, the second you play it. And then we have two of our battle phase enablers, Regiodon. So some people like to test four. I like that too, because I think the four is a little overkill, especially with how many cards that can equip gauge in this deck, you're going to deck out quite a bit uh, if you're not careful. So it has the cool skill that when it attacks, you can put the top card of your deck as an equip gauge for one of your rear guards. But then when it's retired for your, uh, one of your unit's card abilities, you can call a card from its equip gauge to rear guard, 
And then this is a hard once per turn for uh, one of these regular dons. So it's really, really important that you only do it once because that's breaking the rules if you do it twice. The other card that does this is Blue Sprint. So Blue Sprint has the same skill as regular dons. These are both battle phase enablers for us. So what I really like about Blue Sprint is that you're gonna need your grade twos for intercepts sometimes. So when you have an equip gauge on this and say it's boosting your vanguard, boosting your rear guard, you can boost with that column first, attack with say a spinal extort. If you have two equip gauges on this, and then you could call uh, both of them to make a column or have another column set up or could just call one attacker. It's just super good. And Mega Rex, you just call the one. Next, four of the most busted cards from this set, in my opinion. Savage Shooter. So Savage Shooter has this really cool skill that when it's placed on Vanguard, you could draw a card, call a card from your hand to rear guard, and then you equip gauge a top card of your deck. And then, but the main skill that we use it for is the other skill, which is on rear guard, you could rest him, put a card from your drop zones and equip gauge for one unit, which allows us to get off some of our plays. So if you say like have a Dofa Pyro in your drop zone, you could send it to the equip cage of one of your units and you could set and you could um, put it on like a Regiodon or a Blue Sprint. So when that card is retired, you could call the Dofa Pyro 10k. So, so good. And if you're playing this deck correctly, you're always gonna have the three equip gauges active with Giganto Blazer skill. So that'll gain an additional power. So good. And one of the main reasons why this deck is honestly relevant. And then rounding out our grade ones, we have four grade three searcher. This is of course in to ensure that we ride Giganto Blazer as early as possible and have Gaia should we need it for the late game. So it has the basic 5k skill. If an equip gauge was put to your regard this turn, it gets plus five. 13k could hit unboosted. And then for the triggers, like I said, we don't play draws. I don't I don't think draws are actually good in this deck just because of the power output that you get from this deck and how many cards you draw already. So we play four Sentinel crits, two extra crits, two fronts, four more fronts. So six crits, six front, four of these cute heals, and then our starter. So that's it, that's the deck. Let me know what you think of Tachikaze in this upcoming meta. I think this is <laughs> this is definitely my main deck right now. And I think if you guys are looking to get into V Premium or looking for a nice deck to build because you're sick of the meta decks running rampant, this deck is definitely the deck for you. It's very cheap and it's super fun to play. So without further ado, I want to thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.